What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to show you sponge life hacks. Let's check this out. For this sponge hack, if you're gonna need to wash one of those kind of dishes, it's really hard to get inside a sponge, right? And what we're gonna do is just cut it in half. Then I'm gonna grab a knife and cut opening inside of it just like this. And then what I need is a neodymium magnet or a really stone magnet. And then I'm just gonna stick it inside of the sponge. So magnet is right here. I'm gonna stick it inside of this glass right here. Jar and they're going to grab different neodymium magnet. The bigger neodymium magnet, the better because it will be better friction. Right now I have just small magnets, but as you can see, it still works. You see, I'm just scrubbing it inside of it right now. As you can see, I put a little bit of soap in there and it's perfect. So just like that, I'm gonna just scrub this bottle just like that. You see all the soap soaping it up pretty good right now and really easy clean that bottle. Pretty cool idea, huh? What do you think? So when you need to pull out the nail, just like this one right here, if you're gonna pull it out like that, you're gonna damage the wall. So grab a sponge and grab a nail like that and pull it out. Boom, easy. And you didn't mess up the wall and look, the sponge is dirty and the wall is fine. For this life hack, simply grab scissors and cut your sponge in half. And now you have two sponges. It's big enough to wash your dishes. It's perfect. And now you can save money this way because you can put this away and use this as a sponge, wash your dishes. And guess what? You're gonna save money by 50%. Perfect, huh? Instead of spending money to air out your sponge, grab one of those clips, put it like that, and set it down like this. And look, it's perfect and now it's just gonna air out the sponge, it's not gonna be sitting on the counter and be gross. This way it will air out faster and it looks cool too, look at this. Awesome, thumbs up. Here's how to sanitize your sponge. Make sure it's gonna get really wet. Then we're gonna throw it in the microwave for two minutes. Let's see if it works. All right, guys, let's see what happens. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot, that's hot. So yeah, I don't know. I think it's a good idea. So make sure you run it under the cold water, I guess. So it's, ah, oh, that's so hot. So make sure you don't squeeze it out. Let it cool off. That let it cool off for sure. Yeah, it didn't look like it melted or anything, but it really boiled water inside of it, so I think it works. All the bacteria probably killed because the water inside of it had to boil up in two minutes. Cool. For this one, we're gonna make ice pack. You can use alcohol or water. So what we're gonna do is suck it in the sponge with water. And again, we're gonna put it in a Ziploc and we're gonna make a homemade DIY ice pack. So I'm gonna throw it in there and then get all the air out and then close it. Now check this out. It looks like it's pretty frozen, but not all the way, but really cold. Now you can hold it on your booze or whatever or spin and you can cool, cool it off and it's perfect, it's dry now on this side and it really works. I like this ice pack. And if you wanna reuse it, throw it back in the freezer again. For this life hack, we're gonna grab a cheap sponge and we're gonna cut it in three pieces. Then we're gonna get our sponge and submerge it in water. We wanna to soak it in in water. And then we're gonna grab a Ziploc bag, stick it inside of a Ziploc bag without squeezing it. Just grab it like this and get all the air out. Maybe grab a smaller Ziploc, that's all I got. And then we're gonna put it in a freezer and freeze it. This is gonna be perfect cooler ice cube. 
that when it smelts, the, all the water stays in the bag, so your cooler with food does not get wet. Instead of filling it up with ice, this works way better. So then you're gonna grab a cooler, open up, and you know, we got bread, we got sausages. Let's say you go camping or whatever, you wanna keep it cold so it doesn't go bad. You wanna have drinks and stuff. So you don't wanna fill it up with ice because ice will melt and all this food will be just sitting in water. What you wanna do is make this kind of sponge ice bags and put them all over your... Make sure Ziploc bags are really nice, shut and tight. And look, it's ice, piece of block of ice in the sponge. And whenever the ice is gonna melt in the sponge, it's okay because it's in a Ziploc bag. None of the water is gonna come out from Ziploc bag and all the food and drinks gonna stay dry, but at the same time cool and perfect. And stuff and it's not good and waste a lot of water. But this way, look, it's perfect. He drinking it slowly, not choking it on it, and look, See, he is huh? done. And still a lot of water left. But this experiment, and you're gonna if need I don't a have a